What's going on, MMA world? This is Joshua Broom from Winners and Winers, bringing you main card picks from the upcoming UFC Fight Night, headlined by Tyron Woodley and Gilbert Burns. Let's dive into action, beginning with the headline names. After being dominated last March by challenger Kamaru Usman, former longtime welterweight champion Tyron Woodley makes his octagon return May 30th. At 38 years of age, Woodley's upcoming main event against streaking Gilbert Burns verges his own make-or-break territory for the St. Louis, Missouri native. The loss almost ensures Woodley will settle in as gatekeeper to rising division stars. A win, of course, brings Woodley another probable title shot. Many didn't envision the decorated NCAA wrestling standout being ragdolled by Usman. However, the Nigerian nightmare overshadowed Woodley's greatest strength while picking the former champ apart from every conceivable angle. That loss and subsequent injuries forced T. Wood into 14 months of inactivity. Opposite Burns, Woodley holds negative 175 favorite odds. At 33, Gilbert Burns flashes knockout power in world-class jiu-jitsu. Winner of five straight UFC appearances, the Brazilian owns three BJJ World Championships. Evolving with each fight, Burns recently scratched any notion of Damian Maia's late resurgence by a first-round TKO. That night, Dorino became just the second man to knock Maia out. After a signature moment, Burns called Woodley's name. The former champ obliged. Set for five rounds, Woodley vs. Burns looks great on paper. T. Wood's prolonged absence poses question marks against this era's busiest welterweight competitor. Fighting for the eighth time in just over two years, Burns is a slight plus 155 underdog. That stated, Woodley owns too much power and length for Burns. While Usman posed the same conundrum on March 3rd of last year, the former champ will carefully outpoint his number six ranked challenge with takedowns and well-timed right hands through five rounds. Burns' clearest victory route is submission, though a future Hall of Famer, Woodley has beaten every style. Take Tyrone Woodley to shake his early rust, find rhythm, and gradually wear down physically overmatched Burns for the unanimous decision win. Moving on, the co-main features heavyweights as 29-year-old Augusto Sukai holds slight negative 115 favorite odds against former World Series of Fighting 265-pound kingpin Blagoy Ivanov. Veteran Ivanov is listed at minus 105 for Saturday's encounter. Losing only two elite names, the well-versed Sambo expert was recently edged by Derek Lewis. Lewis's explosive headshots negated Ivanov's grappling game and submission attempts. Slim losses aside, blessed with a granite chin to complement fine all-around martial artistry, Ivanov poses major issues for Sakai. For the younger rangier Sakai, May 30th, victory would represent a defining moment. At 14-1-1, with his lone paid defeat coming against Czech Congo, Sakai rides a five-fight unbeaten run and owns 11 TKO wins, including his September knockout of Marcin Tibera. The Noguchi team member has stopped four of his last five octagon assignments. His power surge began with a massive 2018 Dana White Contender Series appearance to earn ultimate fighting employment. While Ivanov is a better all-around fighter, Sakai, who actually cuts weight to make 265, will impose his 4-inch height and reach advantage to land first and maintain distance versus Ivanov. Sakai's harder strikes and ability to remain upright versus a fighter creeping past prime will be enough to secure unanimous decision victory. Next up, welterweight Kevin Holland makes a quick turnaround after stopping Anthony Hernandez on May 16th to face 33-year-old Daniel Rodriguez. Both fighters have bounced between divisions as Holland's recent highlight win came at middleweight. Likewise, Hernandez, who has fought at 155 pounds, made his octagon debut in February by submitting heavy favorite Tim Means. At 33, Hernandez enjoys a seven-fight unbeaten run. Well-rounded, the relative UFC newcomer owns six knockouts and four submissions. Other than his lone split decision blemish, which came in 2017, the only foe to last 
versus Hernandez was Rico Farrington. Farrington is built similarly to Holland, with that stated, Holland wields a 6 inch reach advantage and is a weight class heavier than Hernandez. During what will become a give and take war, look for Holland's length and speed to net a split decision over his game opponent. About four pits Dana White contender series lightweight vets Brock Weaver and Roosevelt Roberts in direct competition. Having won his last eight fights, Weaver nonetheless faces plus 240 odds Saturday. Meanwhile, splitting his last two outings, Roberts enters favored at minus 280. In a rugged encounter between up and comers, Weaver is a great pick at his current price. The outspoken Chattatuska is naturally larger than Roberts, often finding it welterweight and can bully his man against the cage while throwing volume strikes. Weaver made believers during his upset Dana White Contender Series win versus Devin Smith, about thought of 170 pounds, to earn a UFC deal. For the value, take Weaver with a unanimous decision versus Roberts. Finally, the main card opens with women's strawweight action between heavy favorite Mackenzie Dern, minus 400, and Hannah Cyphers, plus 325. After opening her octagon career 2-0, featuring wins over Ashley Yoder and Amanda Cooper, the ADCC Black Belt World Champion recently suffered a first MMA loss versus top 15 ranked Amanda Ravis. Meanwhile, Hannah Cyphers has split her last four UFC appearances after being stopped by fringe contender Angela Hill. During her two octagon defeats, Cyphers has lost by ground and pound. Look for the larger, more athletic Durham to hand Cyphers another defeat inside distance to kick off ESPN televised action. To quickly recap, UFC Fight Night Woodley vs. Burns scheduled for Saturday. Tyrone Woodley defeats Burns by unanimous decision. Sakai defeats Ivanov by split decision. Hernandez defeats Rodriguez by split decision. Weaver scores a unanimous decision over Roberts in the main card's value pick. And Dern Smith ciphers in the opener. Saturday's card marks the fourth UFC event held this month. It will emanate from the company's Apex facility in Las Vegas. Guys, how do you see these fights playing out? Leave a comment below. And be sure to check out our extensive UFC Fight Night Woodley vs. Burns coverage at Winners and Winers, Stat Salt, and Pick Papa. And until next time, this is Joshua Broom signing off. Enjoy the main card.